A new report paints a troubling picture for active duty military families under a lot of stress. It also says the divide between the military and civilian populations has never been wider, especially for families living in military housing in civilian neighborhoods. KUSI's John Sodman is live at the USO Center at Lindbergh Field with more on this story. John? You know, part of all this is the fact that when it comes to people in America serving in the military, only a very tiny fraction are actually doing the heavy lifting. <laughs> when it comes to life in the United States military today and the sacrifices our men and women in uniform make, a troubling picture, especially for military families living in military housing in civilian areas like Tierra Santa and Liberty Station. According to a report released Wednesday by the group Blue Star Families, close to 50% of military families say they do not feel a sense of belonging in their civilian communities, that the military-civilian divide is wider than ever, and no wonder, only 0.4% of Americans are currently serving in the military. The Neil Ash USO facility at Lindbergh Field reaches out to members of the military and their families. Ashley Kamak is not only the director, she's also a military wife who's been separated from her Navy husband for half of their 20-year marriage. This report paints kind of a troubling picture that a lot of these military families in civilian neighborhoods feel kind of alone and don't feel a connection. You know, in San Diego, our military is geographically dispersed away from the bases. And so the challenge here to connect with the community is a little bit broader than other locations around the country. Um, we, we try as a nonprofit here at USO San Diego to really serve outbound and get to the areas that are away from the installations um, because they're, they're trying to live in places that are reasonably priced. Um, so they might be a little bit further of a distance away. Um, and so that really contributes to not feeling that sense of community that you would often feel if you were residing on the base. But in a sea of loneliness that often accompanies life in the military, the USO is an island of warmth, especially when it comes to spousal separation. Without revealing what your husband does in the military, what's the longest you have not heard from him? Over 100 days of zero care. Many people, many spouses couldn't, couldn't relate to that. You know, a lot of civilian spouses may not be able to relate to that, um, and that's okay, but a lot of military spouses, that is the relatable thing. So here at USO San Diego, we try to create programming that helps connect military spouses. We have a Mill Spouse Connect program where people can come in and really talk about that commonality and really start to understand so that we can connect them to that community that is out there to support them. Now, what this uh, USO facility does for young service members is amazing. Earlier tonight, I met a young man who uh, had the dream of becoming a U.S. Marine, but here at MCRD, he was injured after five weeks, hurt his back, and at least he had a place to come here, you know, to call his family, to tell him that, you know, he wasn't going to be able to realize his dream, as, as opposed to just being by himself. Throw it back to you. All right, John. Thank mm -hmm. you for the update on that tonight.